Hello guys, in this tutorial we are going to discuss the HTTP response in REST Assured. And before we take a step further to understand what response is in the REST Assured world, let us first understand and get a general idea what response stands for. Imagine a scenario. You are a customer. You approach a shopkeeper with a list of things that you want to buy along with the money required. And you hand them over to the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper on his end verifies the list of things that you have requested for along with the sum of money you have presented. He confirms if he has those things with him and once that is done, he hands over those things to you. And this is what we call as a transaction. Something similar happens in the restful world. The client who requires a certain resources from the server creates a request and sends it out to the server. The server on its end verifies the request and verifies if it has those resources which the client has requested for. And once the verification is done, it simply sends out a response to the client containing the resources the client had requested for. And this is the response that we are going to study about for this tutorial. Having learned what a response is, now it is time to connect with what we have learned so far in our Postman request. So let us navigate to Postman application and see what's going around there. We are in the Postman application. We have composed a request and assigned a get method to it. When we hit the button send, it goes to the server and it responds back with the resources that we are looking for. So when I hit the button send, we receive a response that is containing of the resources that we were looking for. Alongside what we receive are the headers which are nothing but the metadata or the information we receive from the server in regards to the response. Alongside we have is the status. This status code signifies if the request was successfully sent or not. We learned about the response in Postman and now let us understand about it in the rest assured world. In the rest assured world, as we have in Postman, we have the status code, we have the response headers and we have the response body. And all of these combined together form the total response we receive from the server for the request we send. Now all of these can be accessed through various methods and we are going to replicate the same in our rest assured world when we code for the request. Here we are in the rest assured world. We started off initially by creating a base URI static variable and assigned the bookstore.toolsqa value to it. After that what we did was we specified the kind of request we should be creating and once we have created that request we are sending it to the server. And to do that action what we are doing is that we have called upon the request method where we have specified the method type which is get in our case. We have specified the path to which the request is to be sent. These two are the parameters that the request is basically looking forward for. And what we get in return from the request that we have sent to the server is the response. And the return type of this particular request method is the response as you can see I have highlighted. We have created a variable of response to handle the response that we are create we are getting from the server. Another interesting thing about this particular request method is that it performs an HTTP request to the server. So it sends out a request to the server and this is similar to what we do in the Postman application. We click on the send button and it sends the request to the server. Let us see the methods that are working on this particular response object and if we can use any of those to extract the response headers, status code or the response body that we are looking for. We will move ahead firstly with the status code because the status code determines if our request was successfully sent to the server and we received the response for the same. To do that let's click response dot and we have a couple of methods populating over here in the suggestion box. Currently we are interested to look for get status code because that's what we are looking for. So some a method which resembles to fetching status code will be useful for us. 
when we scroll down this particular method options that we have to operate on the response object we see that we have this get status code method which basically returns the status code of the response we receive the return type of this status code is an integer and it is quite easy to map because the status codes that we receive range from 100 to 599 thus having an integer as a return type is quite logical next what we do is write this get status code method and assign an int variable to it which will store the value of the status code that we are receiving the status code that we have written is basically extracted from the response and it is one of the determinants if our request was successfully sent across to the server or not and next what we do for our test that we have composed so far is we print out the status code that we have extracted from the response we quickly run the test we run as java application response status code is 200 gets printed out in our console this response status code that we received which is 200 corresponds to the one we received in postman that is 200 this tells us that the request we have composed so far in our rest assured world is correct and it successfully sent the request to the server and the server responded back with a response status code 200 we can verify the other parts of the response such as headers and response body but for now the test that we have composed so far is successful is the message we got from this particular test.